Recently, Tesla Model Y vehicles were spotted leaving Giga Texas in-car transporters. Sighting suggests Tesla's goal of delivering the Giga Texas-made Model Y to customers by the end of the first quarter is on track. Despite Tesla China's focus on exports in January 2022, the Model Y retains its status as one of the country's best-selling vehicles. Tesla signed a five-year lithium supply agreement with Liontown Resources, expected to begin in 2024. It's one thing to witness a large family sedan beat hypercars on the drag strip, but it's a completely different experience to see a six-seat SUV complete the quarter mile at a time that's faster than one of America's most iconic supercars. Excited to know more? Stay with us until the end for more details. Welcome to Technopole. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update about Tesla or basically anything related to the billionaire Elon Musk. With that being said, let's begin. Let's start our video, this time from China. Tesla sold a total of 16,496 Model Y units in the country in January, making it the country's top luxury SUV, according to the China Automotive Technology and Research Center. With such results, Model Y effectively dominates the competition from international and local competitors. The gap between Tesla's crossover and its rivals is also quite stark, with the Lixane One, China's second best-selling premium SUV, selling 12,426 units over the month. Other high-end SUVs sold far less, such as the NIO ES6, which sold 5,525 units, and the BMW iX3, which sold 1,914 units in January. The Model Y's performance in China last month was impressive. After all, Tesla China's strategy is to spend the first half of each quarter heavily on exports. This means that domestic sales of the Model Y in China were largely suppressed in January. Still, the car is the best-selling high-end SUV in the country. As per data from the China Passenger Car Association, Tesla China's wholesale figures for January 2022 reached 59,845 vehicles, a 286.5% increase year-over-year. From this number, 40,499 vehicles were exported to foreign territories, while 19,346 were sold domestically. Considering that the Model Y accounted for 16,496 of the company's domestic sales, it appears that the crossover SUV is gaining some considerable traction in the local auto market. While Tesla China is already increasing its vehicle production output at an impressive rate, the company plans to accelerate its growth even more in the coming years. Tesla CFO Zachary Kirkhorn out Outlined this during the Q4, he stated that the company's goals of achieving 50% growth year over year should be possible with just the Fremont factory and Gate of Shanghai. Tesla China has initiated a recall of Tesla Model 3 and Model Y for a possible heat pump issue in the vehicles, which may result in reduced windshield defrost performance. A total of 26,047 Chinese made Model 3 and Model Y vehicles are affected by the recall. According to an announcement from China's State Administration for Market Regulation, a total of 12,003 Model 3s and 14,044 Model Ys are affected by the heat pump recall. Vehicles affected by the potential issue were produced between December 28, 2020 and January 15, 2022. Similar to how Tesla addressed the issue in the US and Canada, the heat pump issue for the Model 3 and Model Y will be fixed via an over-the-air software update. That being said, SAMR stressed that Tesla owners affected by the recall call should drive their vehicles with extreme caution while waiting for the heat pump to be fixed. Tesla China would also be informing owners who are affected by the issue through registered mail, email, and other means. Tesla owners may also call the company's China hotline to get information about the ongoing recall. Tesla Giga Texas can't wait, as shown by the Model Y production vehicles waiting to be shipped next to the factory. The Model Y vehicles are all covered up and appear to be waiting for the delivery date. Tesla Giga Texas has more than 100 Model Y production vehicles parked on-site, according to photos shared by drone operator Jeff Roberts. Most of the cars are covered, but some are visible. Giga Texas is developing blue and black Model Y production cars based on undiscovered cars. At the last earnings call, Tesla announced that Giga Texas and Berlin production started in the fourth quarter of 2021. During his opening remarks, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed that Austin-built Model Y vehicles are equipped with structural battery packs and 4680 cells. Tesla plans to deliver Giga Texas Model Ys once the vehicle receives final certification. So in Texas, we're building the Model Ys with the structural battery pack and the 4680 cells, and we'll start delivering after final certification of the vehicle which should be fairly soon, Musk said at Tesla's Q4 and full-year 2021 earnings call. Tesla senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering Drew Baglino added that the company is making meaningful progress on Kato's ramp curve, 
Tesla said. Four to six eighty cells are currently being produced on a pilot line there. He shared that Tesla is making four to six eighty structural battery packs a day and assembling them into Giga Texas vehicles. And we believe our first four to six eighty vehicles will be delivered this quarter, Baglino stated. Our focus on the cell, the pack, and the vehicles here is driving yield quality and cost to ensure we're ready for larger volumes this year as we ramp and next year. And the 4 to 680 and pack tool installations here at Giga Austin are progressing well, with some areas producing the first parts. Tesla's 4 to 680 battery has been a long and challenging journey, so seeing Model Y vehicles with batteries is exciting for those following its development. Tesla unveiled its 4680 battery during Battery Day in September 2020. By the second quarter of 2021, Tesla acknowledged that its 4680 pilot line at Cotter Road faces challenges, mainly when trying to transition from small-scale production to large-volume production. Right now, we have a challenge with basically what's called calendaring or basically squashing the cathode material to a particular height, Musk explained at the time, so it just goes through these rollers and gets squashed like pizza dough, basically, but very hard pizza dough. And it's causing, it's denting the calendar rolls. This is not something that happened when the calendar rolls were smaller, but it is happening when the calendar rolls were bigger. However, Tesla seemed to have overcome most challenges with 4 to 6 80 cell production. By August 2021, a Tesla investor claimed that the production yield of the 4 to 6 80 cells rose to about 70% 80%, suggesting that the company was making progress in solving its calendaring issue. More recent reports hinted that the production yield of 4 to 6 80 cells had been vastly improved since. Tesla's online order page shows an estimated delivery date of April 2022 for the Model Y performance. The expected delivery date for the Model Y long range is August 2022. Tesla hopes to begin deliveries of the Made in Texas Model Y by the end of the first quarter, according to Drew Beglino. Liontown will supply Tesla with lithium spodumene concentrate from the battery metal company's new $473 million Australian dollars. 338 million US dollars Kathleen Valley Lithium Project in Western Australia. Australian-based battery materials company Liontown Resources Limited is pleased to announce that it has entered into a legally binding sales and purchase term sheet with electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla for the supply of spodumene concentrate, announced the Australian company. Tesla will buy 100,000 dry metric tons of lithium in the first year of the deal and add 150,000 dry metric tons of orders annually for the next few years. A formula based on the market price of lithium hydroxide monohydrate will determine the purchase price of the lithium supply. The Tesla Liontown agreement is conditional, based on when the Australian company starts commercial production at the Kathleen Valley Lithium Project. Liontown aims to begin commercial production by 2025. Tesla and Liontown will complete negotiations and execute a detailed, definitive agreement by May 30, 2022. If the two parties do not finish negotiations, the lithium supply deal will be terminated. Liontown is also a partner of LG Energy Solution. Earlier this month, the mining company congratulated LG Energy Solution on its IPO. According to Reuters, Liontown signed a lithium supply agreement with LG Energy Solution. Tesla also has a lithium supply agreement with GFL International, a unit of China's Ganfeng lithium industry. Under the agreement, Tesla will receive a supply of battery-grade lithium from GFL International for three years starting in 2022. U.S. President Joe Biden may have proven he can utter the word Tesla in public, but in acknowledging that the Texas-based electric car maker is a bona fide American company, some stimulation may still be needed. Tesla CEO Elon Musk underscored this recently in response to the U.S. president's electric car-related posts on Twitter. Biden's recent post revealed that the U.S. government is gearing up to make all 600,000 federal government vehicles electric. The president noted that such an initiative should bring more manufacturing jobs back into America, and it should also build up local supply chains. We're making Buy American a reality, not just a promise, Biden wrote. Unsurprisingly, leading to a response from Elon Musk, who shared an article stating that the Tesla Model 3 is already the United States' most American car of 2021, according to Cars.com's 2021 American-Made Index. It's not just the Model 3 that gets credit for being genuinely American, as the Model Y managed to take third place on the index. Kelsey Mays, assistant managing editor at Cars.com, explains the results. It's worth noting that Tesla is the only major automaker to claim 100% domestic production for all cars it sells in the U.S., well above the industry's roughly 52% average for the 2021 model year.
may set. While Tesla's existing lineup of electric cars may not necessarily fit all the needs of the U.S. federal government vehicle fleet, the company is arguably the only carmaker in the country that actually has the capability to produce electric vehicles en masse, or at least at volumes required by the U.S. government today. Tesla delivered almost 1 million electric vehicles last year, and the company is targeting about 50% annual growth, and the company appears to be on track to deliver about 1.5 million vehicles in 2022. Granted, automakers like Ford and General Motors have announced plans to ramp up EV production, but those goals are easier said than done. Take General Motors, for example, which said it would increase its EV production target sixfold in 2022, but that effectively means only 46,000 EV will be produced this year. Ford is better positioned as the company has announced plans to expand its EV production capacity to 600,000 units by 2023. However, that can present a challenge for the established automaker, as buying an EV with enough batteries for such a volume is no joke. Tesla Model X refresh orders that were placed in late 2020 and 2021 are being pushed back to July 2022. Delivery dates for some Tesla customers who ordered the new Model X design before first deliveries were pushed back again, cementing CEO Elon Musk's outline that Tesla is dropping the ball on the all-electric SUV manufacturing ramp. Earlier this week, we reported that Musk was extremely critical of Tesla's Model X refresh ramp, saying the company should have approached the task differently. The Tesla CEO said shelving production of the Model X entirely was an unfortunate decision as demand for the vehicle remained healthy. Tesla plans to revamp the design of the Model X as well as the Model S, the company's two flagship models. Production of both cars ceased in late 2020, and Tesla announced new body styles in early 2021. The Model S was first delivered in June last year, and the Model X was first delivered to customers in October. However, deliveries didn't last long, as many owners said their expected delivery dates had been pushed back to late 2021 or early 2022. Now, several Model X orderers are communicating that Tesla pushed back their delivery dates to July 2022. Each of these orders took place between December 2020 to June 2021. Musk said in early February that Tesla's main, limiting factor for the Model X was the availability of interiors. Tesla recently decided to eliminate some Model X plaid interior seating options, limiting the possible layout of this configuration to only a six-seat option. Sources tell us that the main factor in the decision is that plaid orders seem to have the six-seat selection most often, so Tesla is streamlining manufacturing to speed up deliveries. While the internet is full of videos of the Model S Plaid running and beating supercars one by one in drag races, there are still relatively few videos of the Model X Plaid showing off its performance. Fortunately, that's no longer the case, as YouTube's CSP Shorts channel recently shared some in-car footage of the Model X Plaid running a quarter mile. The vehicle's performance was recorded using a dragy device. As could be seen in the brief video, the Model X Plaid actually performs a bit better on the quarter mile compared to the company's spec sheet. A look at Tesla's official website reveals that the company lists the vehicle with a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 2.5 seconds and a quarter mile time of 9.9 seconds. Yet in the recently shared quarter mile run, which was performed on regular roads, the Model X Plaid was able to complete the full quarter mile in 9.83 seconds at 146.68 miles per hour even if its 0 to 60 launch was listed at 2.74 seconds. For a 6 seat SUV that feels like a tank while driving, that's a lot of speed, and it's downright insane. With a quarter mile time of 9.83 seconds on the regular street, the Model X Plaid is actually faster than the 2022 Ford GT, a roughly $500,000. American supercar currently listed by car and driver to have a standing quarter mile time of 10.8 seconds at 134 miles per hour. Considering that the Ford GT is a very powerful supercar in its own right, the Model X Plaid's performance really deserves a mention. Interestingly, the Tesla Model X Plaid is actually more affordable than its sedan sibling, the Model S Plaid. While the Model S Plaid starts at just under $130,000, Tesla is offering the Model X Plaid, a six-seater with a lot more cargo space, for $126,490 excluding options. For this amount, customers will receive a vehicle equipped with three high-performance electric motors and carbon sleeved rotors, and some of the company's most advanced technologies. Unfortunately, the demand for the Model X Plaid may very well be exceeding Tesla's supply for now. In a recent comment, Elon Musk admitted that Tesla had made a mistake with the new Model X's ramp, stating on Twitter that the company dropped the ball badly regarding new Model X production ramp and still haven't fully recovered. Musk also noted that it was idiotic to stop production of old X in December 2020 when there was still plenty of demand. So what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments below. 
And most importantly, if you wish to be updated on every single topic related to Elon Musk, you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. Also thank you for watching the video, this is us signing off. See you guys in the next one, until then peace.